Hello and welcome to Charter Local Edition, coming to you from West Yellowstone, Montana, the site of the 2014 Montana League of Cities and Towns Annual Conference. I'm Mark Staples, your host, and my first guest is the longtime mayor of Shelby, Montana, known as Mayor Lair. He's been there so long and so effectively. Larry, welcome. Thank you. Pleasure, Mark. Thank Good you to for see coming. You. Tell us a little Great bit of the backstory of Mayor Lair. Well, <clears throat> you know, I just got interested in uh, local service uh, many years ago. It was kind of a fluke thing. I was appointed to city council, and they said it would only be a year, and that was a long time ago. And how many? Tell us uh, how long ago. You know, mayor and city council since uh, 1977. Oh my word! Uh, and at the that time, describe Shelby at that time in terms of economic development. Well, and you know, it was a, a small rural community in northern Montana that the economy was totally based on agriculture and oil and gas production. And <clears throat> we learned that you know you can't do much to control the world price of oil from Shelby, Montana, and you can't do much about egg prices in northern Montana so we made a conscious effort to diversify the economy of this rural community and and uh, make it uh, withstand the uh, get through the ups and downs of oil and gas economy and ag economy and still survive and, and move forward and so we we picked uh, transportation as our, our, our we had you know a bunch because of, of where you are where we are you know crossroads, which is right crossroads of the Brigham Northern Santa Fe Railroad north south east and west and crossroads interstate 15 and um, US 2 and so we knew there had to be something good about our location, even though everybody thought we were in the middle of nowhere. We thought it was a pretty cool place. So describe Shelby in 2014 as opposed to well, 1970. You know, it's a busy place. There's 60 trains per day. Uh, there's 1,200 semis move there uh, in and out of Canada as we serve as the uh, gateway to the uh, oil sands projects and the oil boom in Alberta. Then we're also serving as kind of the gateway to a lot of the oil uh, production and stuff going on in uh, North Dakota and eastern Montana so a lot of those products are moving through us and um, the simple thing of taking a, uh, materials off a train putting on a truck or take up off a truck putting on a train creates jobs and our whole deal is to, to create jobs uh, right now uh, census data shows that uh, you know we're at full employment full employment and uh, over 600 people drive to Tool County today to go to work besides who's there so for us that's a pretty big deal so works well and then you told me before that one of your greatest achievements is the kids that come home right they, and you're not an exporter of talent anymore people come right. home. right and one of the keys to my success really isn't me it's that uh, it, during that time frame over a hundred uh, Shelby High graduates came back and that became the new kid they came back because they had good jobs they were doctors and dentists and lawyers and farmers and ranchers and <clears throat> pharmacists and things of this nature so but they came back because they had a job and and uh, we all got along. Now we're county commissioners, and we're city council members, and we're school board members, and uh, we get along. We might fight a little bit about how to get where we're going, but the, the community's all pulling together in a uh, in a common um, agreement as to we should move forward. Change is good. Uh, controlled growth is good, and, and we're okay with that. And you know, we're all kind of pulling in the same direction. So it's really cool. I know you've become the model not just in this state, but in the country. As a matter of fact, and you would never say this, but I'll say, you've been named the small town mayor of the United States several times, have you not? Correct. Yeah, and so you, one of the keys to that is you always have something cooking. Every yeah, time I, I mean, talk to you, you have something cooking for Shelby. Right, right. What's right now, what do you, what's on the plate? <clears throat> well, our big thing now is this new multimodal facility that we have under construction. It's a $21 million facility that 15,000 feet of rail lines, 15,000 feet of water and sewer, developing a huge multimodal facility that'll facilitate the movement of products from rail to uh, trucks and trucks to rail. And so uh, that's the big thing. Uh, total impact of that over the next five years will be about 500 new jobs, uh, which is major. And uh, that involves the railroad and the private companies that are building in there, have committed to build in there. And uh, we've, we've had uh, CHS Inc build the largest fertilizer distribution facility in North America there. We just completed that project. So all these little things kind of come together and, and uh, help diversify the economy, expand the job base. And, and these are good paying jobs with benefits. And uh, a, a community that has good paying jobs with benefits, you know, the, it's easy to support the schools, it's easier to support the infrastructure in that community, but, but it all starts with the job uh, with good benefits. And so that's what we work on every day. I know you mm -hmm. wanted to talk about 
the EPA. Right, you know, we're uh, always looking for new opportunities. And, and w one thing with us that communities need to think about and do is that, you know, as governments, uh, the state of Montana, federally and stuff, I mean, we're always watching and we have government relations people that help us watch for things like this, you know. So <clears throat> we're always watching for opportunities. For, so Governor Bullock's new initiative on uh, um, uh, CO2 mandates and sequestration, things of this nature, um, everybody goes, ooh, that'll ruin businesses in Montana, but, but it really can promote businesses and create jobs. And of course, we look to position ourselves to be an important part of that with the Kievan Dome. We have the Department of Energy in there with a $52 million project to study carbon dioxide sequestration <clears throat> in northern Montana. It's an ideal formation to do that. And so, I mean, we can see how our community can fit in what the goals of state government are. That can be good for us and it can help create jobs. So. Uh, you're always looking for those type of opportunities and those studies are underway now. There's drilling going on determining how this carbon dioxide can be sequestered and uh, where in, in you can look at something that a lot of people think is regulatory, it's bad, blah, blah, blah. But it can be good and it can create jobs in the state and so we, we look forward to that being uh, promoted across the state and we think uh, our community can play a real important role in that. You've always seemed to me to be a person that looks at a situation and the problems that occur, and you don't see problems, you see opportunities. Exactly. And if you had just a little bit of advice for other people getting into public service in the in the communities of Montana, what would be about attitude? Um, well, you know, you've got to have a good attitude to do it. I mean, and have the community or whatever you want to do at heart. Don't have a personal agenda. Have the community's agenda at heart. And number one take the time to find the community's agenda. Public polling, talking to people, things of this nature. You know, see what the people want. I mean, they're right most of the time, and, and they need some leadership, they need some guidance, and that's your role as a public official. Uh, but don't forget to ask the people what they want. Well, Larry, obviously you've been doing it right for a long time because I've never heard of any, we need change in Shelby, Montana. I think if you decided to retire as mayor up there, people would revolt. and stuff you and put you there with a lever attached to you. I want to thank you for coming by and congratulate yes. you on all your success and wish you good fortune and uh, say hello to everybody in Shelby. I will. It was a real pleasure, Mark. Thank you so much. I appreciate this Thank you for coming. Yeah. Thank you for tuning in.